Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in today's video, we're going to be replacing the front component set on this 2016 Toyota Tundra. Now, in this install, we're going to show you how to replace the 6x9 mid range speaker as well as the tweeter up in the dash. Let's get started. All right, so first things first is focus on the mid range. We're here at the door, there's actually not much needed to take the door panel off. There are a couple of hidden screws. Um, there's one down here. There's a little Phillips down in the door handle hold area. And then there's one back behind the panel here. So to get started, I have a little needle pick tool. Put it here on the edge. Just kind of give this a pull on out. This is held on with clips. And it's going to expose a Phillips there. Let's pull off our sail panel. It's just held on with clips. And I like to pop up your window controls and your lo door lock button and just unplug it here. The reason is then we don't have to fight it later on once the door panel is off. Just unplug your harnesses here. Just like that. Usually it's a clip that you press in the center and then the outer housing can come out. Okay, next here is I just like to use my hands Try to find a space back behind the panel where you can grab. Start with a corner. Lift on up. So we pop that on out. Now the last thing that's going to be holding the door panel on is our handle here that we can unscrew from the back. There's going to be two Phillips screws holding in the door handle assembly. So that gets everything out of the way. Two screws that hold the door handle on. And then these are the two harnesses that we disconnected. Now this gives us great access over by our 6x9. So the 6x9 is either held on with the 10 millimeter or Phillips, you can use either one. Disconnect your harness. Grab your speaker. And there you are. Now let's uh, take a look at the tweeter side. So for our tweeter here, I have a little panel tool. What we're gonna do is just kind of get up underneath this plastic and it's all held on with clips. Okay, just like that. Comes out of the way. There's our tweeter. It's held on with two. 10 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and remove those bolts. All right, so you're gonna have kind of a tweeter and a mid harness here. Just go ahead and disconnect it, connect it here at this mid harness area. There we are, all removed. Let's head over to the bench to show you the rest of the parts needed for this install. All right, so here at the bench, first and foremost, the speakers that we're going with are these Alpine component 6x9s. So as a mid-range 6x9 speaker and a separate tweeter. The set also comes with a passive crossover for the tweeter. The crossover for the mid-range is built on the mid-range. Now to accommodate those in the factory location, we're gonna need some bracket adapters and they do come in pairs. Um, the one that it calls for for this truck is the Metro 82-8146. Now they do make one that's not just a, for a 6x9, you could do a 6x9 to a 6.5. Um, so the hole is a lot smaller. So just keep that in mind, depending on the pair of speakers you're installing. <laughs> to uh, accommodate these in the dash, we have these custom ABS uh, dash brackets. We'll link these also in the description for you so you can pick them up. But this is for a two inch hole cutout, which is perfect for an Alpine. And then to accommodate the wiring in the doors, we have wiring harness adapters. Uh, these are the Metro adapters. Again, we'll link all these down in the description. These will plug into the factory plug in the door and these will wire up to our new speaker. So at this point, what we need to do first and foremost is get our six by nine melted up into our bracket. And then we'll prep our wiring for the door. Then we'll turn our attention over to the tweeter. All right, so our mid-range is done. It's all mounted up here. Now, Metro does provide a hole for your um, 
spirit wires to pass through, but our harness is too short for the 6x9 to reach through that. Now, uh, most times the Metro harnesses are much longer. This set is kind of the off-brand, so it doesn't quite reach. So if you see that your harness doesn't reach, we just put our own hole, and then we're going to seal this one up with some sound deadening. But uh, mid-range is all done. So let's now turn our attention over to the tweeter. So this is our tweeter bracket. Now again, it comes in multiple sizes. We order the two inch hole size. What this does really just goes in just like that. Cl kind of clips into place. We have a passive crossover. We don't have to wire crossover anywhere else or even connect in the mid-range. We just don't have to because it has its own crossover. It's right here. We are gonna mount this and tuck this crossover just in the dash, but we have all this extra wiring here. We have so much wire. You could just shove it all in the hole. We're gonna cut a ton of this wiring out. Just shorten it up because we just need a short lead from the tweeter to the crossover to the plug that we're going to modify so it just plugs right on in. So um, that's our plan. We're going to shorten up some wire. Shorten the length from the tweeter to the crossover. We just soldered and heat shrunk it on. A lot shorter and a lot more manageable. Now at this point let's do the input side of the crossover. Now we have our factory speaker. What we're going to do is we'll, we'll cut it and we'll leave just enough in case we have to solder back onto it. But we'll cut that there. We're done with this now. And we have our harness. Essentially here we have our positives and negatives. And you're probably wondering, why is there two? Well, the way that, at least in a lot of Toyotas nowadays, the manufacturer will wire the output from the radio to the tweeter and use the tweeter as a hub. And then from the tweeter, um, just it's kind of like a distribution, it sends the signal down to the mid-range. So if you don't hook this back up or combine these speaker wires, in a lot of circumstances, your mid-range in the door won't get any signal. So you've got to hook this up. It just, it's a pass-through, essentially, here. So we, we're gonna have to maintain that. So what we'll do is we'll strip the wires back and solder under these. Okay, so we soldered onto those. We're gonna move our heat shrink up over, over those connections. So our harness for our tweeter is done. We have our input side, crossover, and tweeter itself. Let's go ahead and head back to the car both with our mid-range and now with our newly assembled tweeter get everything installed all right so we're here back at the car now we've done a little bit of sound treatment we uh put all sound ending on the outer skin of the door the whole door is done and then this portion where it's kind of the structure for the speaker we don't want that to vibrate as well so we did the inner door skin a little bit um sound ending there now at this point we're going to go ahead and get our speaker mounted get it all plugged in All right, so now for our tweeter here. Go ahead and get that plugged on in. Now we're gonna tuck our tweeter crossover where it's not gonna rattle or fall down. And it's nice and snug up inside the dash. All right, so we just trim the back of the, the tweeter grill. In the event your tweeter sits up kind of high, it just gives you a little bit more space. Let me get this all put back in. Just like so. That's about it for this install. It sounds great. 
And we also uh, added a four channel amplifier. So these component speakers are actually seeing a little bit more power uh, from a four channel amp that we installed under the passenger seat. If you wanna see that video, check it out. We'll have a link in the description as well as a card up above. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you like what you saw and don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time. And we'll see you in the next video.